Hey everyone, welcome back to another video, and I'm doing this for my bedroom. I don't know if you noticed the sounds from the last couple videos, from my haul videos and when I'm talking, but there's been sounds coming from my desktop. It's a fan or something. It's been doing that when I've been watching YouTube videos or Netflix or the WWE Network, or when I edit, after I edit videos and save them for YouTube, it's been doing it, and I didn't want that to happen for this video, so I unplugged it from my desktop and plugged it into my laptop, and the laptop's a couple years old, um, when my dad passed away, or before he passed away, when he went in the hospital, he wanted a new laptop, because the other one he had was really old and slow and it overheated so he needed a new one so I ordered it for him well he paid for it but I ordered it <laughs> and um, once he passed away I inherited it so the laptop is way different from the my desktop my desktop is Windows 7 and it has the Windows Media Windows Movie Maker and this one doesn't. It's a Win 10. And that editing software, the free version, it doesn't seem to have that speed up um, option for editing videos. So if my desktop ever dies, it should be interesting to edit videos on my desk on my laptop. But anyway, um, I'm using the program that came with the Logitech camera. So Anyway, um, last weekend was PETA Fest, and it was totally fun here in Las Vegas at the Golden Nugget, and it was, like I said, it was a blast, and we all did a project with Kathy King, the paper phenomenon, and we met her baby, who was totally cute, and it was much more relaxing this time, less chaotic than last year, so that was good, and when I went to PETA Fest, I finally got my acrylic pores that I did during the class that Dee Dee Keatron taught back in February. And I really like how they came out. They're, they don't have a coating to them yet, but I have to figure out how to do that <laughs> and get it. But anyway, we did um, five pores on three different canvases. We did, we did two 6 by 6s two 5 by 7s and an 8 by 10 which was the dirty pour, which is using all the paints that we use for the different pours. And I used a lot of paint on my pours. So I had enough paint left over that Dee Dee did another, um, I think an 8 by 10 canvas she did with some of my, a lot of my paints I used. But this was my dirty pour. I really liked how it turned out. And then we also did a um, flip cup one. That was the first one we did. I think this is the first one. And I liked how that turned out. And the other reason why I'm doing this from my room, the sun sets on this side of the house. And it was really bright earlier. <laughs> so I really liked how that came out. Really got to see the cells in there. And then we did um, pour. We poured the paint directly on the canvas and you know whirled it around. This one is okay. I like the colors, but you know we got to see some cells. But this wasn't one of my favorites. And this one definitely was not my favorite pour. This was um, taking paint and pouring it across the um, top and then taking a chipboard piece and lightly scraping it to the bottom. Not my favorite, but I really like, I do like some of the cells that came through. And then we did one where it was our choice from the three different pours that we did. And a lot of us did, including me, was another flip cup. And I like how this came out too. And I'm going to, I took pictures and I did post them on Twitter, but I might take, I don't know if I'm going to use those pictures or take better ones. And I'm going to um, upload them to my computer and use them on my Redbubble 
and society sex shops and the links for those are in the description below i have a bunch of stuff on there you get prints and bags and cards and notebooks and phone covers and all kinds of stuff that society six and red bubble makes and i might do some things on my exhibit not my exhibit my zazzle shop which is the same thing as red bubble and um society six so kind of sort of so look for that in the future and while at um Pita fest i did a little i didn't do too much shopping i didn't besides food <laughs> um a couple of us went to the donut bar um you may have heard of it on like the food network and stuff they're really good donuts um they're on harson and sixth street and if you go out the golden nugget it's just straight on Carson and um, a couple of us went there two days in a row I went there three days in a row I went there what did we go? Saturday Friday I, Friday Saturday and I went Sunday because I wanted to get my mom a donut I wasn't gonna get myself one because I was kind of donut out and I wasn't gonna go at all because my feet were so sore from standing and walking those okay the weekend but I decided to get her a donut so I of course I got myself one <laughs> um but anyway Dee Dee of Amwa Studio and she works at Viva Las Vegas Stamps she had a little table there selling her chipboard and stamps and um some of her papers that she designed for Seven Dot Studios and stuff and she also had so um so I did buy a stamp and it says keep smiling it makes people wonder what you're up to <laughs> and I got um I find this spray bottle and it has her lo her logo on the bottle and this is really cool cool you can um use it for other things besides water got that and that's all the shopping I did besides food <laughs> um breakfast lunch dinner donuts which was breakfast <laughs> so a few days before I went to Pita Fest I ordered some stuff from bookoutlet.com and they are at book outlet store obviously um I I used the I had money in my Patreon account. I saved and saved and saved for months and months and months. And I originally wanted to use it for, um, to get the new Julie Million dolls that came out the past CHA. Um, and then I decided to be a responsible girl. <laughs> well, I thought I was going to be a responsible girl and just put it all in my checking account. But, um, yeah, I didn't do that. <laughs> I spent some of it. Um, like I said, I was looking at a book outlet, and I saw a couple books that I wanted, and they have a flat rate shipping fee of $5 if you're under $35, and if you're over $35 or over, you get free shipping. Well, if you spend a, if a book there is like two dollars or a dollar or whatever it, it's silly to spend five dollars on shipping so i decided to you know get 35 dollars worth of books and get the shipping so i spent 35 31 and i took me a good while to get up to 35 dollars and um but i did it and the first thing that one of the things that made me go looking was this book it's the disney's who, who who's who and a to z of disney characters and it goes from 100 wild dalmatians to zootopia and i know this angle is really weird um, I got it for the pictures. You know, I thought it'd be cool to use for our journaling and you know mixed media ATCs and stuff like that. And cool to read. 
you get the thick book. Um, I did calculate how much everything I ordered would have been retail. <laughs> but um, I'll do that at the end. So um, retail, this was $11.99. And I paid three nineteen because this was a scratch and dent. They have um, scratch and dents where you know, obviously scratches or dents in the book, and but they're perfectly fine. And then they have bargain books. So this one's three nineteen. They, I think they also had it as bargain books, but you know, of course, you go for the cheaper option. And then the other one that got me to go check on was this one. This was actually the first one that did it. And originally, when I saw this, it was a scratch and dent. And I put it in my cart and went looking around trying to find some other stuff. And by the time um, I looked at the, my cart, it was gone. It was like a dollar or something. A couple, you know, it was really, really cheap. Cheaper what I, than what I actually got this one for. So, um, yeah. So I picked this up regular, at their regular price. So retail, this was $14. I got it for $5.39. And obviously, you all know what this one looks like. And this angle, again, the angle that I'm doing this from is really bad. Well, the video is bad, but where I'm flipping is, well, the video is good. The angle that I'm trying to flip is bad. Like I said, I, you've seen this. There's a couple books that I got that I'll probably do another video for a flip in a better angle. <laughs> so, that's that one. And this one, a lot of my friends online got this at Hobby Lobby. And they had a lot of stuff on clearance for dirt cheap. It was like a dollar something. Dollar thirty-five or something like that. The Color Workshop: A Step-by-Step -step Guide to Creating Artist Effects by Rachel Rylett. And you know, it's a good reference book for different like chalks and color pencils and pastels and all that fun stuff. Actually, I I didn't get it for the um, pastels and the chalks. Got it mostly for the color pencils. And then there's, you know, coloring pages in the back. And this one retails for $15.95. And all the prices I'm giving are in um, U.S. dollars. And I got this for $6.39. This was the most expensive book I got out of all the books that I got. And I got about nine. Okay. Yeah, I got about nine books. The next one is the lookbook. This one has been on and off my wish list for a while on Amazon. And it wasn't on my wish list on Amazon. But it was also on my on and off my wish list on um book outlet too. But decided to get it. And I think I know Dee Dee Inkwell has done a flip of this book and done some pages on it. And they are double sided. So you can't really use markers or anything on there. Or, you know, marker. You know what I mean. <laughs> so, um, this one retailed $15.95. I paid. This was a bargain one. I guess it's up. $319. And they also list the country of origin these books come. Um, this one came from Mexico. The color workshop came from China. And uh, the other one that came from China is the neon color book. This one I also been wanting for a long time. It's been on and off my uh, wish list on Amazon for a while. And, you know, got black out pages and neon out pages. 
really cool and fun. And like I said, this angle when I'm trying to flip is really bad. And I'm going to do another video of this book, flip through, and the next one I'm going to show you. This one retails for $12.99. I got it for $3.19. And rearranging. Oh, got a crit. In the next coloring book, this is the last coloring book I got that has been on my wish list on Amazon and on um, Book Outlet. This Disney Zoom Zoom 100 Images to Inspire and Create. And this is a really cute book. And I'll do a better flip of this one as well. And this one retails for. $15.99. I got it for $3.79. And this was a scratch and dent. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little dent right here. And three more books. I got the Rectus Journal Everywhere. It's the little travel size book. Be fun to do on video. I'm still working in the um Rip it, write it, draw it book. I haven't done any, I haven't filmed anything um, in that book for a while because I worked ahead and I'm trying to do one video of a month, uh, one video a month for that book, I think. That's what I'm doing so far. So that's that one. Um, retail, this was $10. I pay. Um, five thirty nine. This was the second most expensive book I bought. Well, third, because Imagine Imagine Morphia was three, but five thirty nine as well. And these two books I got at to fill my cart to make up to the um thirty five dollars. So I thought these were fun. These are actually kids' books. This one is Char who it was Charlie Chaplin by Patricia Brandeman De Mont. I'm sorry if I screw that. And I got it because these pictures are in black and white. Oh, see that? And I thought it'd be fun to color those. And I'll probably do a better flip of this and the other one when I do the flips of the coloring books. So I thought that would be fun. And this one retails $5.99. And I got this for $1.59. This was a scratch and dent. And the last one was, is Who Was Jim Henson by Joan Hobo. Oh, I just butchered that. And again, same thing. It's black and white. Um, the, some of these are more cartoony than the Charlie Chaplin one because, you know, that's how Jim Henson was with the Muppets and all that stuff. And if you read his biography, and I can't think of, I mean, let me look that up because I did read the, his biography and it was really good. Jim Henson, The Biography by Brian J. Jones. That was really good, by good book. And again, this one was $5.99. And I paid $3.19 for this one. Now, like I said, I paid on Book Outlet $5.39. No, never mind. I paid $35.31 for the nine books. And if you bought this retail, pay full price for all these books, it would have cost you $136.82. So I saved quite a bit on those. So like I said, I used my money from my patron. And thank you for my two patrons for that. And if you want to be a patron, I have that in the description link below as well. 
Um, I'll probably talk more about that in, in another video when I hopefully get brave enough to do a face on video for that. Why do more rambling? But anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.